this big generation gap though we call ourselves as great experts in technology great experts in science and all but students language is altogether different you can imagine here in india if you could go through some textbooks you will find the greater difference the person who has written the textbook is a master his language of writing is altogether different and the child who is studying that book is again uh, is facing problem of understanding that language of the book itself so it's better to bring experts directly and experts should act like a book now emotional book emotional book intelligent book he should be and he should offer as much as possible to make that child happy to make that child knowledgeable and to make that child satisfied and i would like to address few other things we are through our global classrooms not only for one school two schools we have connected hundreds of hundreds of schools and we are connecting their emotions as well we are connecting their hearts as well and not only hearts we made them talk together okay because just how long we expect our children to just listen to the teacher you tell me okay the time has come where teacher has to listen where expert has to listen let us understand their feelings and their expectations and their needs understanding their needs what feeding is necessary uh, thank you for your participation as you know the pope is around the university as we speak and with what you're talking about global education platform yes so my question is when is it can we get a body like the united states like how facebook and in google we can connect people for entertainment can we connect people for educating them here in here in india even engineering students want greater inputs and uh, management students want great inputs not only inputs they want the work experience they want to do intern and they want to apprent uh, they want to do apprenticeship so if we could uh, create such world where globally online if we could train and uh, create a skill based education system where students from india are getting educated by experts of america and even students from america are getting value education or similar kind of education from india this way not only cultural exchange even educational exchange knowledge exchange experience exchange and skill based education platform if if we could create that's going to help a lot because as i said the numbers of students here more than 300 million students are there even if we talk about our own global classroom experience we have reached out more than 1 million students here so we all come up with great spirit and uh, dreaming for the reality what you are living in so this is what i want from you all we have have another question yes so that's the question is about the sector over the past uh, years the private sector has been developing the tax sector how is the private sector involved in the, the educational initiatives in india Please, please repeat your question again hmm. how is the how, how is india's private sector the corporations within india helping this uh, issue in terms of global education wow great question so simply speaking that what you all realized has not yet been realized here what all you have realized has not yet been realized here and fortunately we are inspiring the professionals of different companies and private sector to give their time to give their knowledge for education system because what is happening even after learning for 22 years of his life the child is calling as a fresher here in india here in india 
after graduation and post graduation the student uh, children is called as you know children are called as fresher a uh, uh, graduate boy is called as a fresher i feel that our students should not be called as fresher should come up with great skills and enthusiasm and great expertise and here here is what the private sector can play a great role in india we are trying to reach number of it uh, companies and in a private sector for contributing their knowledge even needs what they need from uh, employee so that we can build uh, skilled children you know skilled students so that when they enter to the company they will not be called as freshers but work like a experts and skilled professional and here is what i am expecting from you all can we build a skilled and professional and talented student community so that they can start contributing instead of again you know learning 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 how long they are learning the capacity of contribution enables even in their 10th age means at the age of 10th a child can contribute to the world but here in our education system we are just learning for long time and afterwards again different expectation so instead of that if private sector could play a great role of contributing their skills and knowledge and expectation and needs to the education system so that both together can work and teachers also get uh, support from experts so that they can build a, a great student a great human being this is what i would like to convey a private sector role is very important and i would expect your continuous guidance and uh, you know support in this and i want to say something to that too real quick when we started the global classroom we we started with no input from the private sector or public sector but this is something that we just knew we had to do and here we are two years later at the southeast distance learning conference so as santosh was saying in india what we realized may not be realized but we're continuing he continued to school after school hundreds of school to make this resource available and what will make the network stronger and i think we will make this a reality for you know corporate sector here in india to get behind us is having this database of experts who can come on consistently paid or not just because they know the value of value based education and so i just want to say that and